Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in August of 2023, I posted a video showing you how you can downgrade Chrome to an older version on Windows. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked in the description and in the end screen, Chrome updates can sometimes cause issues like compatibility problems with certain websites, extensions, or your operating system. And I showed you how you could install an older version, which obviously I didn't recommend due to the security side of things. Now go check that video out if you want more info. But just another quick video to kind of follow on from that previous one. And this time to show you how you can actually download the offline installer of Google Chrome, which isn't the default choice when you visit the Chrome website to install Google Chrome onto your device. Now, if you head to uh, the Chrome website, and what it will do, as you may well know, is when you download the browser, it will download the so-called online installer. And once that's downloaded to your local drive, on my Windows 11 device, that package is just over 8 megabytes in size. So it's very small. And what it does, um, because it's an online installer, it then connects to the internet and then uh, downloads everything it will need uh, to complete the, the update and the installation of Google Chrome. Now, downloading the offline installer is a little bit different because um, it can be handy, as mentioned, especially if you want to install an older version of Google Chrome. So if you have downloaded the offline installer previously and you don't like uh, a newer version upgrade for whatever reason, maybe it's just not cutting it for you, then you can always uninstall Chrome from your device and then use the offline installer to download an older version. Or if you have a limited bandwidth and you need to install Chrome on numerous devices, you can download one installer, offline installer package, and then you can use it um, on all your different devices without having to connect to the internet with the online installer every time you want to install Google Chrome. Now, what we have to do first of all to download the Chrome offline installer is we need to head to this um, website, which is the standalone download location. And I'll leave this linked in the description for easy access and reference. Now, you can click on download here, but what I would recommend is just go right down to the bottom of the page. And here you'll see other platforms. And you can get Chrome, the offline installer for Android, iOS, um, download for another desktop OS, Windows 11, 10, 64-bit, Windows 10, 32-bit, Windows 11 ARM, Mac OS 10, 15 or later, Linux. And here are the so-called frozen versions. And that would be XP, Vista, and so on, right through to Mac 10.14. So you've got a couple of options here. Now, I'm just going to use Windows 11, 10, 64-bit because that's what I'm running. So you would click on that and just accept and install. And there you go. It's got Chrome standalone setup. And... We save that, and that's about 100 megabytes or so in size. You can see it's taken a little bit of time to download. Uh, it says one download in progress there to the top right with my little download button. And once that's uh, downloaded, I'll then head over to my download location, and you can see there we go, Chrome standalone setup, and we can see that is now 113 megabytes in size compared to the online installer which is only 8.02 megabytes so having the standalone setup as mentioned can be very handy if you want to keep that to so-called roll back to a previous version for whatever reason or if you want to use it to complete a whole lot of different chrome installations without having to connect to the internet or maybe you have limited bandwidth so just that quick video in case you're unaware and that's how you can get your hands on the chrome offline installer if you want to do so. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.